Can you believe that this, this charming rustic restaurant, is tucked away here? Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Orange County anymore. But don't judge a restaurant by its location. The ambiance is delightful, and the food isn't too bad. Welcome to Boathouse Collective. Hi adventurers, Janelle Eats here, and today we'll be visiting Boathouse Collective. Boathouse Collective is a trendy hipster restaurant that is tucked away in an industrial zone. You know, like that tractor spot you saw earlier with the dirt road and kind of looks like it's like randomly put there? Yeah, that's where we're going. Um, so let's get cracking. Where's the food? Let's jump to the menu. Their menu is constantly changing. The first time I was here, I remember I got a chicken with waffles with pate that had a pear or cooked onion or something. That was really nice. I remembered I found it a little weird because the sauce is great, but after I tasted it, I was just like, wow, this is amazing. They also have a great drink menu. And I say that just because the bar looks really cool and I'm just making assumptions because I rarely ever drink. Okay, let's move on to the good stuff, the food. Appetizers first. Let's get this party started with a salad. <laughs> Yeah, salads don't sound exciting, but this salad had crispy bacon, spinach, parmesan shavings, and a tangy jalapeno vinaigrette. It wasn't a mind-blowing salad, but it wasn't bad either. The Poke Bowl. I'm bougie with my pokey, and it's difficult to find a good one when I'm not in Hawaii. This one's selling point was supposedly the chipotle aioli, but it's not really a taste bud shaker. This lovely lump is a familiar chicken katsu. I enjoy this dish. The crispiness of the chicken was definitely a huge factor, along with the katsu sauce. It had a much bolder taste, kind of like Worcestershire sauce, contrary to other katsu sauces I've had that are usually more on the sweeter side. On to the main courses. This is swordfish in a yellow coconut curry, accompanied with crispy rice. The swordfish was very tender and buttery, very enjoyable to eat. The sauce had a pureed squash flavor, but was a bit salty for my preference. At least the crispy rice had rice vinegar, which helped suppress the saltiness of the sauce. The deluxe bowl. Looks more like a plate to me than a bowl, but whatever. Anyway, it had salmon, papaya salad, filet medallions, and crispy rice. The salmon had a nice crispy skin and the meat was very tender. The filet medallions were crispy on the outside and tender on the inside as well. The papaya salad tasted authentic with a fish sauce and all. This is a good old hunk of steak, which is their special for the day. This thing's a monster. I would barely be able to grip this thing into my hand. I mean, it's a steak, it wasn't bad, but it didn't really stand out to me, so I'm sure you can get better at a steakhouse. A burger. It sounds so boring, but ironically, it was the most memorable dish I had. Mostly it's because the meat was so juicy, it was the main attraction of the whole dish. The fries here look like they're sweet potato fries, but they're just normal fries. They've been extra crispy fried, that's why they look so brown. This last dish was another special of the day. Jumbled prawns on a bed of potatoes au gratin. The prawns were all right. It tasted like they were just seasoned with salt. The potatoes didn't really taste like anything to a point where I mostly tasted water. Whatever cheese they put on here was lost in the vast ocean of wateriness I tasted. I could probably make this better at home. So far I've been feeling pretty meh about the dishes. I mean my last video was about portos. But let's finish this off. Let's move on to Judgment Day. Which of these dishes were the most memorable? Three of them pop into my mind immediately. The burger, the swordfish curry, and the chicken katsu. First place, it goes to the burger. I know it kills you to say it because the burger just sounds so like boring, but it was the one dish that threw me off guard. The meat was so tender and juicy and nothing in the dish was too overpowering and this is why the burger gets first place. Second place would be the, the curry swordfish and that's because it was a tad bit salty. But I did love the creaminess and tenderness of the swordfish paired with the squash-like taste of the curry. Like I said, they should have just held back on the salt just a little bit and then this dish would have gotten number one on my list. Third goes to the katsu. 
The katsu's meat was super tender and it was deep fried. Duh, that's why it'll probably taste good. But it really was the sauce that stood out to me. Like I said, it was a bolder tasting katsu sauce, which is new, and that is why this little dish got third place. I would go here for relatively cheaper American food with a nice ambiance. So for example, if somebody asked you, what's a really good sit down place? Or if a friend was like, oh, let's go hang out. Uh, let's go to a place where you can sit down and chill. I'd say Boathouse Collective. Otherwise, you can count on me going somewhere else. This is because I prefer bolder flavors and Boathouse just didn't give it to me this time around. And granted, they seem like a very experimental restaurant, which I commend. I love that they're doing that. I did wish that what they served had a little more of a kick. So wait time would be five minutes and that's probably just because they're setting up my table. But I have had a better experience the first two times I went here. This brings our visit to an end. Thank you so much for coming by and watching Janelle Eats. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at Janelle Eats. And um, you can check out my story. There will be a lot of different foods that I try in my day-to-day -day basis that you probably will not see here on YouTube. So you might want to go check that out. Also, tune in the next few weeks because I'll be trying something new. It'll still be food related, but not necessarily a restaurant. I'm really excited, so make sure you subscribe and you tune in, okay? This is Janelle Eats, and I'll see you next week, my fellow eat venturers. Bye!